Welcome to my full body attack zone. It's day 28 of the Ring Fit Kickstart 2.0, and if you know what I'm referencing with full body attack zone, please, please shout it in the comments. I really hope someone gets what the hell I'm talking about. Fantastic. So, it's full body for everyone today. There's going to be some really cool sessions. Um, I've got supersets, I've got circuits, I've got some different stuff for everyone. So, everyone's going to be doing something a little bit awesome. So, question of the day. Are you feeling hyped and ready for the final tests on Monday? I hope that you are. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling about it all. And remember to warm up, get your water and towel ready, and let's smash our bodies in. My weight loss trainees, it's superset time. You know how this works by now, I'm assuming, but if not, the instructions are at the end of this section. Knee lift and hip lift are your first pair, warming us up and firing up those gluteus maximus muscles before pendulum bend and wide squat. Pendulum bend has you bend over and twist from side to side, holding the ring out in front of you. Brace your core throughout to keep your spine straight and keep that core braced for good spinal posture for wide squat as well. Stand tall for overhead press before tricep kickback, which isolates your triceps. Move from just the elbow for better results. Front press and overhead lunge twist are next, which are great moves which use lots of larger muscles in the body. Have a little shaky shake with overhead hip shake and finish with leg raise. Tense your abs, lift from the hips. Amazing work, repeat if you need to. Muscle trainees, our last full body session is a circuit, so make sure to do all moves with minimal rest before a 60 to 120 second rest at the end and repeat the playlist. Start with ring raise combo to ensure our heart rate is up before overhead squat uses the large glute and quad muscles primarily. These are great for recruiting muscle fibers to build up. Use revolved crescent lunge pose to stretch your legs a little bit before front press and overhead press. There's a lot of pressing there, but one focuses on your chest, the other hits the back and rhomboids better. Flutter kick is next, using your hips and abs as well before seated forward press acts like an ab crunch. Press down with your body. Repeat the playlist up to five times in total. Beginners run through beginner before we tackle three great leg exercises, knee lift, wide squat and ring raise combo. Each will keep the heart rate pumping and use the hips and quads effectively. Stand tall and bring the ring horizontal for a front press, really focusing on squeezing the chest where you can for more muscle fiber recruitment. Next, have some active recovery with overhead hip shake before isolating the triceps with tricep kickback. Keep your body still and posed as tip does and just move from the elbow where you can. Get into chair pose to stretch the back and work the legs before flutter kick and leg scissors, two dynamic core moves that work similarly but in different planes of movement. Great job beginners, that's a tough session but you've done amazing. Such good work today, well done all my trainees. You're doing amazing, you are really pumping it through and we've only got one more session left. I'm really proud of you all. That is amazing work and amazing dedication that you're putting in. So, fit fact of the day is uh, what, what time of day is best to work out at? What time of day? Well, it doesn't really particularly matter at this stage. If you're doing some elite training or you're an elite athlete, there are actually some physiological differences between the times of day, um, which is to do with like testosterone boosting and stuff like that. But it's not something that you really need to pay attention to right now if you're just getting into exercising and if you're kind of a, a casual to intermediate on your fitness journey. But to be honest, it all depends on your schedule. So personally, I like working out between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. That works for me best, um, but my mates work out after they finish work at 9 p.m. They go to the gym straight away. And that works for them because they get up late and their body's rhythm is in a certain way, mine is in another way. Personally, I prefer early in the morning. Some people love late at night. It doesn't really matter as long as it works for your schedule and it's consistent. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate all of your time and effort watching these and you know supporting me. I really appreciate it. And speaking of support, thank you to my patrons like Rain, I Love Waffles, One Three One One, and Sick Hippie for the amazing, amazing support through Patreon. Really appreciate all of that support. And if you want to support me as well through that way, you can have a little check out and you get some little goodies and some bonuses as well, which is awesome. So thank you so much for watching today. Um, and yeah, awesome. I'm going to see you tomorrow for our last full session, which is a course. Session. Be safe and I'll see you soon.